Welcome back to Switch Corner. Today we're going to be taking our weekly look at what deals are coming in under $10 or of course your local currency here. I cover the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. Now this one is the budget video. Lots of super cheap deals. If you want those more, let's say AAA focused discounts, do check out the Saturday edition where it is any price goes. So with that though, like hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here. Join our growing family and let's get started. Started. So first up, Horror Fans Colat is on sale and this one is Think Layers of Fear, so walking simulation style of terror. It's based off the true offense though, of nine Russian hikers who died one night in a storm on the side of a mountain. This game it plays with one theory that is a supernatural one. You'll basically be out though to explore the Ural Mountains to uncover what really happened. I reviewed it, I enjoyed it, I thought it looked decent as well given you know it is a pretty demanding game and then Sean Bean he narrates adding just that extra layer of quality. A new all time low here of 50% off and only the second time it's ever seen a sale. Alright so let's lighten the mood just a little bit here. Rumbo's coming in with 80% off, an absolute steal for what is a bit of a classic. Best in multiplayer, online or off, it's still a fun time solo as well. The idea it's basically a platformer but as the background colour changes so do the platforms around you or potentially you know those you are standing on they may disappear if they now blend in. Tons of characters, hundreds of levels, you'll easily get your money's worth with this one, especially if you can take advantage of local play. Throw in then just a wealth of different modes and yeah, I think this one is absolutely worth a look. Want something just a little bit more challenging then? Check out Chasm, a pixel action adventure that first, the visual design here is just absolutely stunning. It's got that almost 3D vibe to it all and the character designs, the animations, all just top notch. This though, it's a Metroidvania, the twist, it's actually procedurally generated, which isn't actually as horrible as it may sound. For me, you know, Metroidvania just screams it must be handcrafted and designed, but for the most part here, it absolutely works. Works. It is here then matching the all time low with 60% off and I think it's a great price for genre fans. So let's go back to horror then and welcome to Hanwell. Today this studio released Grey Skies A War of the World Story which I'm actually checking out right now. It got mixed reviews on other platforms that one but this experience, welcome to Hanwell, a fantastic first person horror like ride. Again it's kind of similar to Layers of Fear so I think slow paced but it's well worth the 80% off we're seeing right now. Explore London though but this isn't you know sightseeing or grabbing a pint down the pub, well you can go to the pub but just expect to find monsters and all sorts of horrors awaiting you and you'll need to be quick to escape. I was impressed and going in honestly I really didn't expect too much. So I mentioned this one just last week, it was exclusive to the UK, EU, AU, but a quick shout out now for Slime San, it's now available in all regions. It's an awesome game and 75% off, it's a new all time low. I saw a lot of comments hoping it would, you know, hit the US and Canada and now is your chance as you basically try to escape a giant worm that has basically, well, yeah, it's eaten you. Think Twitch platforming though and ultra high difficulty and you'll definitely get the idea. So while we do talk about Twitch controls, Cubic have released a sale on the entire BitTrip collection, discounting them by 20% each. Not a huge drop, but they were cheap to begin with. These are incredible rhythm games though that I owned on my Vita originally and I was more than happy to see them join my Switch. Purchase one as well then and you get a 60% discount on the rest. My personal favourite, it's got to be BitTrip Runner, it's the fourth entry, but right now you'll find all six games on sale. Something just a little bit different now, but not tonight, Take Back Control Edition. This was super popular last time it hit a sale and that same deal is back 90% off so you absolutely cannot complain at that price. The idea of the game though an acquired taste for sure if you know papers please kind of similar in concept but essentially here you live in a post Brexit England and you yeah you man the doors of bars ID and the folks that want to you know come in all you're trying to do is earn some cash, pay the bills, all that good stuff. For sure, a game with a political statement though, I thought it was just seriously interesting. I just enjoyed the whole formula of constantly demanding decisions and a whole lot of pressure. I have a full review of it over on the channel and if you're considering this one, I would suggest you check that out first because there's few games out there quite like it and you need a whole video to even explain it. 
A couple of region exclusives now, but first in the US and Canada we are getting our best deal yet for Door Kickers. Yes, there was a sequel action squad. No, it's absolutely nothing like that, almost arcade gameplay. Here we have a serious strategy game with the idea here, you're guiding a team through increasingly hostile environments. You are basically the captain of the SWAT team. It's got squad management, setup scenarios, movement live and both like pre-planned. I've been a little addicted to this one honestly since it released and it uses the full touch controls as I believe this actually originated on iPhone and Android. Great game though, a lot of content and seriously challenging. 30% off I think's fair for a new game it only released at the end of December. Then for those of you in the UK, EU and Australia, Rainswept is at its steepest discount yet with 70% off. This is going to be for you point and click fans as you take on the role of a detective investigating a double shooting a young couple. It's set in this small town and it has this unique art style. The characters all have their flaws and the reason I like it personally kind of gives me that Twin Peaks vibe. With this one we normally see them you know, follow up with a sale in the US too so I'd guess we're going to see something close to this 70% off in the US and Canada probably over the next couple of weeks. Fanbrace Cold Soul and this one it comes with a stipulation of warning. I enjoyed it but it's not exactly a loved game. In fact the average score is around that 6 out of 10 mark over on Metacritic. I enjoyed it though so I figure a mention does not hurt. It's think darkest dungeon but not as good and not as well balanced either. You will feel like cheated at points when you die. It's a great looking game though and I just love the whole frozen landscape and theme they've gone for. I just found this board interesting even if it can be a little bit slow at the beginning to get things going. 60% off though right now it is I will say a risky purchase. Watch a review or two first, maybe read one. Maybe you'll find out then if it's going to be the game for you or not. To Broxia, the sequel actually arrived on the Switch this week. I've never played this game though, this entry. It's my personal pickup of the week. I like the genre though. Somehow this one passed me by and I want to check, you know, I want to check out the sequel. So I figured why not start with the original first. And it's kind of a steal at this price with 60% off. Or at least it will be a steal if it turns out to be good. Now, let me know in the comments if I've wasted my cash on this one. Or maybe you'll just be joining me for the ride. Then our penultimate game of the week, or sort of at least, the last game's actually a series, but out but is DX, a seriously challenging but interesting Metroidvania. It's an underwater adventure, you awake after a shipwreck and you're accompanied by, I guess a dried would be the best way to describe it. You need to get out of this location though, while also kind of exploring this lost underwater city of gods. This one really had me stuck at points, so I think it's for the experienced Metroidvania fans out there for sure will not hold your hand, but it was the old school visuals that just really got me. Matching its lowest ever price then of 56% off, this is a decent length adventure for the price. You're going to be clocking this thing in around the 14 hour mark. Just again though, like extremely challenging in navigation and working out where the hell you need to go. That is my big warning. The final games of the week then, I mentioned these not long back, but I'm doing it again, the Coma and the Coma 2 Fisher Sisters. With the recent release of Sense, a cyberpunk ghost story, which was honestly pretty crap on the Switch, this is that game but done right. It's a 2D side-scrolling horror series, and the idea in, the, like, in both games is the same. You fall asleep in a school, you awake in a nightmare world. Now you need to escape things that are trying to kill you. The first game it was weirdly removed from the eShop only to then return, but the second entry it released not like too long back now and it just expands on this world perfectly. The first game you're kind of confined to school halls, the second it's going to let you explore the city and almost like the alternate reality around this school location. I thought they were both great though and while the first is US and Canada exclusive for the discount, the sequel pricing is available everywhere. Stunning animation though and some real tension as you run from just all sorts of terrors. The reason I'm mentioning this one again though since did five times the fuse my coma 2 review did and honestly coma like just deserves way way more attention and that's it another week down will you be adding anything to your collection mario 3d world is nearly upon us so i'm kind of putting my cash aside for that one now myself but with that then like a shout out to the patrons of the channel who are just going above and beyond to support switch corner it helps more than you know so thank you all so much if you do want to check that out for yourself i have linked it in the video description down below then hit subscribe if you love the switch as much as we all do here join our growing family and i'll see you all on the next video thanks everyone